Firms and Profits Let's talk about firms. A firm is an agent that converts capital and labor into products to sell. It then collects the residual between the cash value of the goods it sells and the cost of the inputs. Firms act to maximize their profits. For most of history, profits were referred to as overcharge. Merchants were seen as simply stealing from everyone else when they earned a profit. Adam Smith was the first to articulate the social value of profits, realizing that profits lead merchants to use resources and knowledge in an efficient way, which helps rather than hurts consumers. So let's talk about profit. If I spend $1,000 on my business and after one year I've made $1,000, what is my total profit? If you said zero, you're wrong. If this were an accounting video, you'd be right, but it's an economics video, so you're wrong. In economics, the cost of something is the alternative for gone. I could have invested my $1,000 in a savings account, so my profit is actually negative. If I would have earned $50 as interest in my savings account, my profit is negative $50. That brings me to another point, that profits can be positive or negative, and often are negative. If a firm spends $1,000 to produce 100 widgets, and the price of widgets falls to $1, then that firm is going to lose money and earn negative profit. Now let's talk math. Let's say we have a firm producing airplanes. To do that, it needs inputs, in this case capital and labor. We can graph those. Then we say that the firm produces according to some production function. Just like with utility, we're going to take a level set of the production function to show all the amounts of capital and labor it takes to make a certain number of airplanes, say three of them. This level set is called an isoquant. Now let's say capital costs $10 per unit and labor costs $20 per unit, and say our firm is going to spend $1,000 on production. The firm can buy at most 100 units of capital and 50 units of labor. We can graph these two points and connect them with a line to show every combination of capital and labor that can be purchased for $1,000. As you can see, there is one place where the line intersects with our isoquant. That means that at that point the firm is spending $1,000 to produce three airplanes, they're buying 50 units of capital and 25 units of labor. We have here the beginnings of a supply model.